types of the flanges <coughs> the type of the flanges the most common types of flanges in asmi b 16.5s are weld neck flange slip on flange socket weld flange lap joint flange threaded flange blind flange weldo flange or weldo or nipo flange elbow flange swivel flange expander flanges reducer flanges or fs flanges all these types you can see in the picture as well the types of the flanges in the orifice and reducing lap joints and so on and uh, we will discuss one by one in uh, further slides weld neck flange or welding neck flange a welding neck flange that normally represents as wn is having a long tapered hub neck that can be welded with a pipe this flange is used normally in a higher pressure and high or low temperature application that requires an unrestricted flow of fluid transported by the piping system the absence of the the absence of the pressure drops prevents negative effects as turbulence and erosion slash corrosion of the metal in the proximity of the flange joints the tapered hub allows a smooth distribution of the mechanical stresses between the pipe and the weld neck flange this this flange type will be welded to a pipe or fittings with a single full penetration v belt mean butt welded type you can see in the picture the uh, point 1 where it's written 1 it's it, this is uh, the weld neck flange 2 it's a butt weld that is v type butt weld and 3 is pipe or the fittings mean either you can connect the pipe or a fittings so this is the most commonly used weld neck flange in the piping system particularly in oil and gas sector slip on flange slip on flange is connected to a pipe or a fittings by two fillet welds one executed inside and other one is the cavity of the flange as you can see in the picture uh, the point number 1 is uh, the slip on flange point number 2 is the fillet weld outside and point number 3 is the weld inside so outside and inside uh, there is a pipe and it is going to weld from both the sides so the bore size of the of a slip on flange is a larger than the outside diameter of the connected pipe as the pipe has to slide inside the flange to be connected by the execution of a fillet weld slip on flanges are also defined as hub flanges and they are easy to recognize due to their slim and compact size socket weld flanges socket weld flanges are initially developed for use on a smaller size higher pressure piping the static strength of socket weld flanges is similar to slip on flanges but their peak strength is 50% higher due to the presence of a single instead of double fillet weld here uh, you can see in this picture number 1 is the socket weld flange number 2 is the fillet weld number 3 is the pipe as per asmi 31.1 to execute a flange connection using a socket weld flange the pipe shall be at first inserted into the socket of the flange until it reaches the bottom of the flange then it should be lifted 1.6 mm and then uh, finally it will be welded the purpose for the bottom clearance in a socket weld is usually to reduce the residual stresses at the root of the weld that could occur during solidification of the weld metal in this picture you can see the x uh, is showing the gap this gap is normally 1.6 mm between the pipe and the flange lap joint flanges are of flat face and are always used in conjunction with the stub end lap joint flanges rem- resembles in shape s- like a slip on flanges except for the radius at the crossing of the flange face and the bore to accommodate the flange portion of the stub end a lap joint flanges slips over the pipe and seat on the back of the stub end and they two are kept together by the pressure of the bolts they may be used at all pressures and are available in full size range lap joint flanges have certain special advantages for example freedom to swivel around the pipe facilitates the lining up of the opposite flange bolt holes lack of contact with the fluid in the pipe often permits the use of inexpensive carbon steel flanges with corrosion resistance pipe and system which erode or corrode quickly flanges may be saved for reuse as you can see in the picture the point number 1 is the lap joint flanges 2 is stub end 3 is butt weld and 4 is pipe or fittings that is going to be weld with the uh, stub end and swivel flange is uh, easily rotate on the top of the stub end threaded flanges threaded flanges are used for special circumstances with their main advantage is that they can be attached to pipe without welding 
so thread flanges are available in size up to 4 inch and multiple pressure rating however they are used mostly small size piping in low pressure and low temperature applications like water and air and utility services threaded flanges are also a mandatory requirement in explosive areas such as gas stations and the plants as the execution of the welded connection in such environment would be a dangerous as maybe 31.3 pipes uh, piping guide says that uh, where steel piping is threaded and used for the steam service above 250 psi or for a water service above 100 psi with water temperature above 220 fahrenheit the pipe shall be seamless and have a thickness at least equal to the schedule 80 of asme 36.10 uh, for the blind flanges as you can see uh, the blind flanges do not have a center hole as it has completely blind so that's why it's, it's called the blind flange and are used uh, particularly for sealing a pipeline or vessel or a valves uh, to blind uh, or block the uh, flow of the fluid uh, from one side like blind flanges have to withstand remarkable mechanical stress due to the system pressure and the required bolting forces most of these stresses are bending type near the center since there is no inside diameter these flanges are suitable for higher pressure and higher temperature application in this picture you can see the point number one is blind flange point number two is stud bolts in between is blue color is the gasket the other flange is and the weld neck flange connected with the pipe special type of flanges nipo flange nipo flange is a solid single piece of forged steel and not two different products welded together Nipo flanges are available in different materials like carbon steel AST, ASTM A105, ASTM A350 low temperature carbon steel, ASTM A182 stainless steel, uh, inconels, duplex, super duplex and alloys. So, so weld, uh, weld of flange is conceptually similar to Nipo flange. They are a combination of weld neck flange and a branch fitting connected together. So flange OLED is so called elbow flanges, a combination of a flange and a elbow let, like lateral flange, combination of flange with a lateral, lateral let. Elbow flanges are used to branch a pipeline at a 45 degree. As you can see in the picture, nipo flange, weldo flange and elbow flanges. Special type of the flanges, swivel ring flanges, facilitating the alignment of the bolt holes between the two mating flanges, a feature that is helpful in many circumstances such as installation of the large diameter pipelines, uh, particularly in subsea and offshore pipelines. In the case of a larger uh, diameter of the pipe, the standard weld neck flange is fitted at one end of the pipe and a survival flange at the other end of the pipe. By simply rotating the survival flange on the pipe, the fabricator can achieve a perfect, perfect alignment of the bolt holes in an easier and faster way. So survival flanges are available in all standard shapes of common flanges that weld neck flange, slip on, lap joint, socket weld, etc in all material grades and in size range varying from 3 by 8 inch to 60 inch and pressure rating from 150 to 2500 rating so our flanges can be manufactured from carbon steel like astm a105 alloy steel astm 180 and then stainless steel uh, materials so major standards for the swivel ring flanges are SB, NZ, and then DIN, BS, EN, ISO, etc. The common standards for oil and gas in is 16.5 and B16.4. Special type of flanges. Expander flanges are used to increase the bore of the pipeline from a specific point to a bigger size or to connect the pipes with the other mechanical equipment such as pumps, compressor, valves that are of different inlet sizes. So expanding flanges represented in this uh, like showing in this picture is a weld neck flange with a larger bore uh, on the non flange end side. And there is a reducing flange it is it has an opposite function uh, as compared to the expander flange and they are used to reduce uh, the bore of the pipeline. The run pipe size can be safely reduced by one or uh, two sizes but not more than two sizes otherwise a solution based on the combination of a butt weld reducer and the standard flange has to be used types of flanges with respect to face so we have uh, the different types of flanges with respect to their face and with respect to their hub ends the flange face is the surface area that uh, hosts uh, the gaskets so as may be 16.5 and b16.47 defines the various types of flange facings for example we have over here the six types of flange facings flat face flange raised face flange uh, ring type joint flanges, lap joint flanges, male and female flanges, then large and small tongues and groove flanges, TNG flanges. 
Flanges with different faces required different gaskets and shall never be mated to prevent the leakage of the joint. Flat face flange. The flat face flange has a gasket surface in the same plane as the bolting circle face of the flat face flange. The flat face flange have a contact surface having the same height as the bolt line of the flange. Full face gaskets generally of the soft types are used between the two flat face, flat face flanges. The flat face flanges are never to be bolted to a raised face flange. As per SVB 31.3, a flat face flange should never be joined or mated with a raised face flange as resulting the flange joint would definitely leak. When you have to connect the flat face flange with the raised face, you have to remove the raised face of the raised face flange and then you have to join it with the flat face with the flat face gaskets. When connecting flat face cast iron flanges to carbon steel flanges, the raised face on the carbon steel flange must be removed and that a full face gasket is used and required. The raised face flange is most commonly type used in the process plots application. It is referred to as raised face because the gasket surface are raised above the bolting circle surface or the face. This face type allows the use of a wide combination of gasket design including flat ring sheet type and the metallic composite such as spiral wound and double jacketed types. The purpose of the raised face flange is to concentrate more pressure on a smaller gasket area and thereby increasing the pressure containment capabilities of the joint. Pressure rating of the flange determines the height of the raised face. Typical flange face finish of SMB 16.5 raised face flanges is 125 to 250 microns uh, or in RA is 3 to 6 microns RA. In pressure class 150 and 300 the height of the raised face is approximately 1.6 mm that is 1 of 1 by 16th inches. In pressure rating 400 600, 900, 1500 and 2500 the height of raised face is approximately 6.4 mm. Ring type joints. The ring type joint phalanges are typically used in higher pressure that is class 600 and higher and a higher temperature service above 800 degree Fahrenheit. They have grooves cut into their face with steel ring gasket. The flange seal when tightened bolt compresses the gasket between the flanges into the grooves deforming or it presses actually the gasket to make intimate contact inside the grooves creating a metal to metal seal. This raised face does not serve as uh, any part of the sealing means for RTJ flanges that seals with the ring gaskets. The raised face of the connected and the tightened flanges may contact each other. In this case the compressed gasket will not bear additional load beyond the bolt tension. Vibration and the moment cannot further crush the gasket and lessen the connecting tensions. RTJ flanges may have a raised face with the ring grooves machine into it. Ring type joint gaskets. Ring type joint gaskets are metallic sealing ring suitable for high pressure and high temperature application. Ring type joint gaskets are designed to seal by initial line contact or welding action between the mating flanges and the gasket. By applying pressure on the sealing interface. Uh, through bolts force, the softer metal of the gasket flows into the micro fine structure of the harder flange material and creating a very tight and efficient seal. So it means the material of the gasket should be softer as compared to the material of the flanges. R style ring type gasket is manufactured in uh, accordance with ASME B16.20 and used with the ASME 16.5 flanges class 150 to 205, uh, 2500 rating. Art style ring type gaskets are manufactured in both oval and octagonal configuration. So ring type joint gaskets octagonal ring. The octagonal ring has a higher sealing efficiency than the oval and would be preferred gasket. So R style ring gasket uh, are designed to seal pressure up to 6250 psi 
in accordance with B16.5 pressure rating and up to the 5000 PSI. The RX type is suitable for pressure up to 700 bars. This RTJ is capable of sealing itself. The outer sealing surface makes the first contact with the flange. Higher system pressure causes a higher surface pressure. The type RX is interchangeable with the uh, standard R model. PX type is suitable for very high pressure up to 1500 bars. This ring joint is not interchangeable with other types and is only suited for API type BX flanges and grooves. The sealing surface on the ring joint grooves must be smoothly finished to 63 micro inches and be free of uh, objectionable ridges tools or chatted mark. The hardness of the ring should always be less than the hardness of the flange. For material for RTJ flanges and flange face finished. The most commonly used material for the ring type joint gaskets are soft iron, carbon steel, stainless steel, nickel alloy, duplex, aluminium and uh, titanium, copper, monel, haspoli, incarnel and incoli. Available face finishes are stock finished, smooth serrated finishes and extra smooth finish. Stock finish flanges are used with non-metal gasket. Well, roughness for stock finish flanges is 250 to 500 or 500 to 1000 micro inch AARH. Smooth serrated finish flanges are used with metal and spiral wound gasket. Allowable roughness of the smooth uh, finish flanges is 125 to 250 micro inch. Extra smooth finish flanges are used with metal RTJ and TNG flanges. The maximum allowable roughness for extra smooth finish flanges is 63 microns in AARH. Serrations are used where the conveying fluid is highly flammable or toxic or lower molecular weight like gas. Male and female flanges. One flange face has an area that extends beyond the normal flange face that is called the male and the other flange or mating flange has a ma matching depressions female machined into its face. The female face is 3 by 16 inch deep. The male face is 1 by 4 inch higher and both are smooth finished. The outer diameter of the female face acts to locate and retain the gasket. The in principle, two versions are available. The smaller uh, male and female flanges and the larger male and female flanges. The custom male and female facings are commonly found in the heat exchanger shell to channel and cover flanges. The tongues and grooves faces of the flanges must be matched. One flange face has a raised ring that is called the tongue and machined onto the flange face while the mating flange has a machine depression groove machined into the its face. The tongues and groove facings are standardized in both large and small type. They differ from male and female in that the inside diameter of the tongues and grooves do not extend into the flange base, thus retaining the gasket on its inner and outer diameter. They are commonly found on pump covers and the valve bonnets. The tongues and grooves joints also have advantage in that they are self-aligning and act as a uh, reservoir for the adhesives. Flange faces such as RTJ, TNG and F and M shall never be bolted together. The reason behind it that the contact surface do not match and there is no gasket that has one type on the one side and another type on the other side. Thanks for watching. This is the basic information about the piping flanges.